This is the 30th of December 2019. We are gradually winding up the year, and by the grace of God, we are entering into another year, 2020. Yesterday, I talked about reintrospection. That means we evaluate and reassess our progress so far. What happens at the end of the year like this is that people want to examine themselves. This is why in the school, there is examination to test whether the students have performed optimally, whether they understood the things that are taught, whether they are still in line with the curriculum of the school. And so in life, even though we don't do examination like that, we must examine how far we have gone with our plan in our lives. And that is why today I want to co- continue on the topic, reappraisal. And so I welcome you to, I prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, God put a word in my mouth to encourage you, to inspire you, to bless you, to motivate you, and to make you to understand the things to do in the coming year. And so today I pray in the name of Jesus, the blessings of God that makes rich and add no sorrow shall be imparted unto you. God will fill you with divine ability and wisdom. God will give you divine understanding to know what to do at every point in time. You will not be stranded in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You see, we need to understand that we are here in this world for a purpose. If there was not a place to fill, God would not send us. He sent us with a clear mandate and a clear purpose. If we don't understand the mandate and the purpose, it is our responsibility to go in search of it through prayer. When we pray and study the word of God, we will understand the reason why God sent us to this world. The purpose for which he sent us to this world is our overall goal. Is our overall desire, is what we cannot but do. Our purpose should be that purpose that if we don't do it, we know we have failed in life. It is something that we can do daring death. It is something that we can say, I, 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 I will do this. I can put my life down for this. You must have an overall purpose. You see, People who don't have overall purpose, overall goal, what their life stands for, and what they cannot but do. For instance, let me give you an example. If you must pray and you must watch wrestling, and now you feel that you wanted to watch the wrestling before you pray, (laughs) it means that prayer is not part of your overall goal. It means wrestling is more important in your life than prayers. The overall goal of your life take, you know, preeminence over every other thing. The thing that you see as your purpose is what you want to do. You, 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 you can even die in the process of doing it and you will die happy because that's your overall goal. You see, when you watch those wrestlers, they don't care to even die. They fight to the point blood comes out of their la- of their body, they continue the fight. Because it's part of their overall goal. Your overall goal must be that thing that you know, you desire. That thing that will put joy in your heart. You must have the overall goal. It's very important. Then you must have maybe five yearly goal. Your overall goal is to be a preacher, is to be a pilot. Then in five years, what do you want to do? What goal do you have in the next five years that will move you nearer to that goal? Then you want to have a yearly goal. And this is what I want to propose in today's message. What is your goal for 2020? What is your goal for the coming year? What is your plan? What do you want God to do for you? What do you want to do for your family? What do you want to do in that work you are doing? How high do you want to go? How much do you expect to earn? How spiritual do you want to be? How many days do you want to set apart for fasting? 
How many days do you want to set apart just to study the word? Do you have a plan to set some days apart just to worship? Nothing but worship. You must have a goal. 2020, this is how I must start. Maybe the first few days you have a goal and your goal is that the first few days of the year, you just want to set it apart to seek the face of the Lord. Maybe you want to set it apart to pray. Maybe you want to set apart time in this year and say, 2020, I must read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. What is your spiritual goal? What is your professional goal? The job you are doing, your profession, what is your goal for 2020? What is your family goal? What is your goal for your children, your husband, your wife? Where do you want them to be in 2020? These are things you must think about. What is your social goal? Your friendship? How do you want to maintain? Are there some friends to maintain? Are there some friends to walk away from? These are things I want you to think about today. And this is where I'm going to stop. Thank you so much for listening to the sound of my voice. Please rebroadcast this. These messages come to you every day through the contribution of our partners who do this so that we can send this to more people around the world. May God bless them. If you receive this by any medium and you want to receive it on WhatsApp, just save my number, plus 27740302381. Save it right now. Go to your WhatsApp and send me a simple message. Add me. I will add you. From tomorrow, you will receive this. Thank you so much. It's your brother, your friend, your pastor. Pastor of Prevailing Church, Bethlehem Free State, South Africa. And pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ. Springstown, Johannesburg, South Africa. Signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.